today you're about to see a group of my students in my tunneling class, Jack Lake drilling. They're drilling about 34 holes in the base ground and later on we're going to load them with explosives and detonate them to break up the rock and then we'll muck it out and do it all over again. I come from a farming background and I wanted something that was hands-on um, and I originally started out as a civil engineer and found you spent a lot of time at a desk and that's not what I wanted and uh, my engineer it's real hands-on you know outside stuff like that so that was the main thing and then it's just it's just fit really good and I just fell in love with out here it just felt like home I had never been out here and it's I wanted to always be out here after graduation uh, I got a job down at Doron and Viburnum I'll be a mine engineer I'm going to go on the operations side, uh, more of the day-to-day -day operations of the mine. Not so much engineering per se, but you still get to see and use engineering principles. I mean, they've got more people retirement than they can uh, you know, hire right now. Blowing stuff up um, and just really the camaraderie that you know, this program has. Everybody here at the school are you know, pretty close and stuff like that. It's like a family. So um, it makes you know, the work and stuff like that not too bad. Blowing stuff up is fun. We have mines all over the United States, all over the world, and especially in Missouri. Missouri is about the only place that has lead mines. Missouri is very well placed with limestone. So you see limestone mines all over the state that are used to make lime for agriculture, but also gravel roads and also the aggregate that goes into concrete. But the saying kind of goes, if it can't be grown, it's got to be mined. So anything from limestone to coal to gold to platinum all these other precious metals that you need for all the electronics we use today it's got to come from somewhere